Hi there guys, it's Nina here, hope everyone is good. So there are two things that need to be addressed before I can even get started on this video. First thing is yes I am aware that my identical twin sister has escaped from her secret hiding place and taken up residence on my forehead. Let's just not mention it, I've, I've said it once, we're all aware, you know, there's a situation going on there, we're aware, we're aware. Let's. Let's not talk about it again, okay? Well, we don't want to talk about it. You know what? You know what? We don't want to talk about it. <laughs> this is ready on the channel. We don't want to talk about it. Yeah. And B, yes, I know. Once again, I am definitely in the running for worst YouTuber of the year, having failed to upload a video in nearly a month. I've been busy. Why I have. I promise you, I have. But I know you don't care, so there's no point banging on. Let's just get into this video. So the reason I'm recording this video today is because I have ascended from a normal ass human being to the literal definition of BTS trash. Like not even BTS trash. Like I'm the whole dump. I'm literally the whole ass dumpster. BTS is now a permanent scar on my body. Now this scar wasn't given to me by Lord Voldemort. I chose this for myself. I went and I got a tattoo. <laughs> Now, I know tattoos aren't really that big of a deal to a lot of people, but for me, this was a pretty big deal. I had one other tattoo on my body, and that is a little tiny one that I got when I was 18. It was like a no fault tattoo. Like, I, I actually do regret it. I don't really enjoy it now. Luckily, it's not too big. Um, it is here on my wrist, just under my watch which you probably won't be able to see my watch oh my god my watch tan is really bad but it's this i got this when i was 18 and it was a kind of spur of the moment thing i was like i'm an adult i'm gonna get a tattoo i'm gonna rebel and then me all these years later full of regret like why did i do that now i'm really hoping that i don't regret my bts tattoo in years to come i didn't want to get something that was too like whoa bts i'm a stan because i know a lot of people got like their like flowers and the hearts and like the logo and even some people literally got bts or bank on your down like tattooed on them which i have no problem with like that is awesome like you do you boo boo okay but i didn't want to get anything that was like you know too bait bts you know um so i got something that is a message that i really appreciate but it's also bts lyrics now i've been banging on too much about this tattoo I think it's about time I actually show you what I got. Oh, hell no. ah. That was a lot less sexy than I thought it would be. This is my BTS tattoo. Um, I got it on the inside of my left arm, right above the elbow, and it reads, Forever, we are young. Forever, young. Why did I get these lyrics in particular, the placement, things like that. The reason why I decided to get the lyrics Forever We Are Young uh, from the song Young Forever uh, tattooed on me is because of day two at Wembley. Now anyone that's followed me for a long time knows that I tend to stan people often. It's not like BTS is the first people I've ever stand. I used to be a crazy hardcore 1D stan, and then obviously I was a Harry stan, and now I'm a BTS stan. Don't go thinking I'm changing my alliances all the time. I stand One Direction for like seven years, hardcore, and then of course I stand Harry. I still stand Harry, he's just inactive at the minute. Anywho, um, I was contemplating getting tattoos to do with 1D and Harry years ago, but I never ever went about it. Um, the reason why I actually went about getting this BTS tattoo is because BTS really, really do mean a lot to me, like a lot. Um, they helped me get through some of my hardest ever times, um, particularly last year I had a pre down year for me it wasn't a great year i was really sad really depressed there was a lot going on and to be 100 percent real with you guys if it wasn't for bts i don't know if i would have made it through last year <laughs> genuinely genuinely it was just a really hard year for me um and they were the only things that kept me going kept me sane kept me happy helped me make new friends and you know things like that the Wembley show was huge um and obviously I was so excited for the show and then we all know what happened on day two <laughs> If you 
want to see my reaction to the whole uh, fan event at day two of Wembley. I will link it in the eye if I remember. Um, one of these sides. Um, if I remember, um, I vlogged it. There was a lot of tears involved. A lot of tears. That day, emotions were on 11. I was feeling all kinds of ways, like ways that I've never felt before, emotions that I didn't even know I could feel, you know, tears were falling out of places that I didn't even know they could fall out of. And after the concert, I just couldn't stop thinking about that moment and that song. And I'd always loved the song Young Forever, but in that moment, singing that song with you know, like 90,000 people in front of BTS and then BTS members crying, me crying, my friends crying, the people behind us crying, the pigeons were crying, the sound crew were crying, the security were crying, the bar staff were crying, everyone was crying. It was a mess and I could not get it out of my mind. It was a week after the concert, I was still thinking about it. Two weeks after the concert, I was still thinking about it. I just couldn't get that moment out of my mind and I couldn't stop listening to that song. So for that reason, I decided to get those lyrics tattooed on me so I could forever remember how happy I was in that moment. And then hopefully when I'm like, 50 years old, that's not even that far away. I'm more than halfway to 50. Maybe when I'm like 70 years old, I can barely even remember my name, forgotten everything about my past life. I'm on my deathbed. <laughs> I look down at my arm and I see this tattoo and I remember that moment of happiness, of unity, of emotion and, you know, I give that one last smile before they pull the plug and it's all over. That was a bit morbid. Anyways, I just thought it would be something special to remember that moment. Before we go, there was one more BTS trash related thing I wanted to add. And that's the fact that I, I'm in a magazine, <laughs> not just any magazine, I'm in Cosmo magazine with lovely Jordan Woods gracing the front cover. My BTS stand self made it to Cosmo magazine. How you feel about that? Are you ready for this? Before anyone drags me, they made me do a lot of poses that I wasn't proud of. Luckily, the worst ones weren't put in the magazine. They made me do things to a Yungi cardboard cutout that I honestly, honestly will never live down. But regardless, they made me wear my self-made BTS t-shirt, yielding my army bomb, being the true army trash I really am. Now, a couple of pages after that, there is my interview. I'm not gonna lie, I do not like the interview. A lot of what I said was one, taken out of context, two, um, misquoted, and three, lies. <laughs> so a lot of the interview is completely untrue, but you can see my photos there. So they include the photos of my trip to Seoul, as well as, of course, this Yoongi cardboard cutout in the back as well. One of the only good things that came out of this interview was the fact that I got to keep Yungi. <laughs> I now own a full size Min Yungi cardboard cutout. I will forever have Yungi standing over me and smirking away. So yeah, that is about it from me, from Yungi, from everyone. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to stand out with me, feel free to follow me on my stand Twitter. I have a BTS account and the username is currently Gryffindor Yoon. Um, I will leave it below. I may change my username later. I changed it previously. It used to be Ampamanteji. It also used to be Not Today Tay. I continually change the username, but it's currently Gryffindor Yoon and it should be in the bio below. So please give it a follow. If you are not a crazy BTS stan like me, feel free to follow my regular Twitter, which is Nana Trainer, and my Instagram as well, which is also Nana Trainer. And yeah, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribing for more Nana and Yungi content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye. Say bye.